I come to conclusions and recommendations when it comes to the antibiotics. <coughs> we don't know that much about antibiotics, but in, in potential, they are very potent drugs. So you have to take care of them too. And the amounts, the number are much higher than for the cytodrugs. We know that there are probably uh, some effects, but we don't see them really so much as reported in studies. But as the number of workers is quite high and effects may be delayed, there can be a potential risk here. Skin is very, skin contact is very relevant here. Inhalation is an issue when it comes in areas where there are no ventilations or bad ventilations and no cabinets or isolators. Gloves have to be worn, files, the same issues with the site of drugs. And what we have seen in many places now that the protection of the workers to antibiotics is very severe when you compare, compare it to the cytodrugs. And uh, so in, potentially the exposure can be substantially higher. No, but we cannot measure in the drugs, uh, uh, the, the antibiotics nowadays, but probably in the future. So we have to focus on the wipe sampling. Now, the Hungarian study has been very, yeah, yeah I would say very uh, good in that way, that it's really showing where the problems are and that people can be exposed and that you have environmental contamination, but you can do a reduction substantially with a closed system transfer device. Here again, open connections don't do that. Closed systems reduce it. No patients' toilets here either. Surface cleaning is very simple for antibiotics compared to cytodrugs. You can just clean with water. You remove antibiotics, no problem at all. And I think we have to consider that more monitoring is recommended because we have no idea about the real exposure to these drugs for the many people who are involved, which appear to be about 11 million nurses in Europe. Take home messages. Uh, just a few. Cytotoxic drugs and antibiotics may cause adverse health effects. Put that in your head. That's the, that's the basic of all. Protect yourself, but also your colleagues, according to the EU strategy. That means first, close handling, second, ventilation, third, personal protective equipment. So if you're now on three or two, consider really to go to level one, that level of close handling. Third, use gloves whenever there is a risk to get in contact with the drugs. It's really very important. Files, including the packaging, prepare drugs, waste, don't forget the waste, bed linen, clothing, and the urine, and all the things from the patient. Never use a patient toilet. Keep that here too. And the last one is more a recommendation, but I said, well, ask your employer to keep you updated on this issue. So be informed, be trained. Request for continuous training, <coughs> monitoring, wipe sample, and or urine testing, because then you know really what's going on. That's my last one. <laughs> and that's me in PPE, <laughs> not in a pharmacy, but in pharmacy production where the drugs are produced. So that's the pre precaution you take there. So uh, thank you. <laughs>